Dylan Black. This Saturday, it's the PBR Canada Monster Energy Tour. It's coming to Canadian Tire Centre. This guy is going to be there. He's a professional bull rider. Lachlan Richardson joins us on daytime. You were here about a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last year. yeah. So you had a bit of a crazy 2017. You got injured? Yeah, I tore my bicep off the bone and that. It's worse than breaking a bone. I think it took six months to recover and mm -hmm. a lot of physio and wow. work to get back to where I was. Can I ask how you tore your bicep? On a ball. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what what happened exactly? Uh, when I was riding it, it just I felt a pop and a big burn mm -hmm. down my arm and yeah, yeah, it didn't really wasn't that much pressure on it at the time. I didn't think. I guess it was just a thing mm -hmm. that happened. Yeah. It, it must have been enough. Yeah. Whether it was a niggling injury, but it, yeah. Okay, but you got back at it, and you did okay towards the end of the year. Won a couple of, uh, of events? Yeah, it was, a, um, I guess it fired me up having six months off, and I had only six months to make the world final, so I worked hard at it, and it, got, it worked out in the end. I That's made good. the finals. Good job. Okay, uh, why why do you do this? Why, why do you love it so much? Uh, it's, it's a thing you start like any job or sport, I guess. I love it and my family's, my older brother does it. Yeah. I looked up to my uncle that rode bulls. Yeah. So it's kind of, I guess, in the family, but once you get hooked, it's, yeah, yeah. you don't, there's okay. no turn back. Can you explain to us what's happening right here? Uh, that's just a thing that might've been here last year, actually. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's the bull just bucking and <laughs> it's. Yeah. So, so it wasn't the best to get off that one. Yeah. So how does it feel when you when you get off that bull and you see that he may be charging at you a little bit? Does that get a bit scary for you? It does a little bit, but the adrenaline's going. Yeah. You, you don't really moving. think about it. You just you know you got to get up and run. Or yeah. You get up. The bullfighters are there to help. Get moving real quick. Okay. Um, okay. So. Can you tell me some of the cool things that you brought here with you? Now, these this is some of the equipment that would go along with most bull riders, keeping you safe. Uh, where would you like to start with what you've got? Uh, well, the helmet, um, it's not mandatory yet, but they're going to bring it into where it is. Okay. All the young kids coming up have to wear it, and there's a lot of concussions in the sport. Yeah. And Are there a lot of bull riders that aren't wearing helmets at this point still? Only the older guys. Is, most of them are starting to wear them. And okay. Eventually, in a few years' time, everyone will wear them. And yeah. I think it's a good thing. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you... Once you've worn it for a while, it's... Might save your life. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Helmet's important? Yeah, it's definitely important. Mm -hmm. It's one of the big things. Uh, this is a protective vest. It's got the padding in it. Um, you get a horn or kicked or something, it's still definitely going to hurt, but it, it's definitely a prevention thing, and yeah. everyone wears them. I imagine that wouldn't protect you that much from a kick from I the I mean, <laughs> it, it definitely helps. <laughs> yeah, it's, it helps a little bit. It's not going to stop. All right. Okay. The injury. Um, these are the chaps. They um, you just wrap them around your waist, and they cover your legs. A bit of protection, and they're a lot of show too. They look they look nice when you're riding. Yeah. Okay. And then the bull rope. Everyone obviously rides with one of them. It goes around the bull's waist, and you put your hand in this part here, and and hold on. It's um. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a thing you need. How difficult is it to, to hold on? How challenging is that? I mean, uh, you make it look easy, but that's got to be not easy. There's a lot of different things. Like here, you just got to keep your hands sharp, but then all your other body's got to stay balanced. And of course, your head's got to be right too. As yeah. soon as you start thinking about it, it's over. Yeah. So it's yeah, the ropes definitely you can't do without it. But yeah, there's can't. a lot more that plays into it than just that. Okay. And what what do we have here? Is that a bit of a cowbell? Yeah, they're just to when the ride's over, you're off the bull. That just drags the rope off the bull, so mm -hmm. it's not on him any longer. Okay. That's all that does. Uh, that's but all that does. Okay. <laughs> this makes weekend, a bit of noise too, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I can imagine that to, to scare off the bull a bit, right? Because they look like they're easily scared off. Uh, I guess. No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly is happening this Saturday? To run us through the show that's happening at Canadian Tire Centre. Yeah, it starts at 7 p.m. at the Canadian Tire Centre. It's a, um, it's going to be an action-packed night. Probably three hours of bull riding action. Mm -hmm. um, they got pyrotechnics and rock and roll for some audiences, and then there's a comedy clown that for the kids and a funny man. He, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah, there'll be like sections in between the in between the bull riding action, but the the whole time it's going to be something going on for yeah. for so, everyone. So how often do you come to Canada then? Just depends. I was up at Prince Albert last weekend, and I normally spend a lot of June, July up here. 
yeah. the next few weeks we're out east here. So, so what's so, happening when you're in Canada? Are you, you're performing, you're, you're competing? Yeah, just competing, riding the bulls. And yeah. Sometimes I stay up at friends' places or go to different cities or mm -hmm. go back to the States, it just depends. Yeah, how different is it? Because you're from Australia. Yeah. How different is it up here, Canada, versus your, your hometown? Uh, your not line? too much, the temperature, obviously. Yeah. You, <laughs> Other you than that, to... I like it up here. I spend a lot of time up here, it's, it's good. <laughs> yeah. So what does the season uh, hold for you then? We're into 2018 and you're obviously hoping to stay healthy. Yep. and compete some more what's what's coming up for you yeah i've had a very slow start to the year i haven't done what i wanted to do so the summertime a lot of the top guys will have a bit of a break that's when i got to get going mm -hmm. twice as hard to make up some ground mm -hmm. so yeah i've got a few weeks up here in canada then go back to australia for a big a few big events mm -hmm. there and then back to canada and the states june and july it's do you train busy. do you train mostly in, in australia yeah, I go to the gym every day, wherever I am, even at motels. So I try to keep fit and keep fit. do yeah. something. But how every often do you get on the balls to practice? Just of a weekend mainly. You get sore enough and you're busy enough of a weekend yeah. getting on balls. If you got a week off or something, you might practice. All right. Well, there you go. The PBR Canada Monster Energy Tour is happening this weekend. Lachlan Richardson, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. And you can get tickets at Ticketmaster or at the box office. There you go. That's all the info you need. More daytime is coming up.